Hey, I'm Daisy Gargi. I'm 22 years old and I'm a youth climate justice activist and political campaigner. Young people's voices is excluded from politics because I think the older generation is scared. They're scared of the visions that we have for the future. They're scared of the fact that things are going to have to change. And I think the beauty of young people's voices is the fact that we say enough's enough. What's happening, it's not good. And what we can achieve is so much better. What I love about young people is actually having the power to take it onto the streets, to demand for better and to actually make sure that our voices are being heard and that's the beauty of you. Hi, I'm Ellen Jones, I'm 23 years old and I'm a campaigner in LGBTQ plus rights and disability justice and I'm an inclusion consultant and trainer. The idea that young people's voices count, particularly in the context in which we've been encouraging young people to speak up, encouraging young people to get involved in their communities, the idea that their voices don't count in that context is an absolute nonsense. We know that young people are vital, not just right now, in terms of how they contribute to society, but going forward, they are going to lead the future. I've definitely learned the power of a personal story, but I've also learned the negatives that can come with that. The, risks sometimes that you put yourself in by sharing so openly with a world that isn't always so accepting. But I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't have done anything differently. And I'm really proud about the courage that I had to speak up so young. Hi, my name is Scarlett Westbrook. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Birmingham. I'm a climate justice activist, most known for being one of the leading organisers of the school climate strikes and the youngest person in the world to have an A-level in government politics, as well as the youngest policy writer globally. I think it's important that we bring the voting age down to 16 because 16 and 17 year olds already contribute so much to society and that contribution should be recognised. Whether that's 800,000 young people being young carers or the role young people have had in organising protests such as the Black Lives Matter or climate strike protests. In the age of social media, we have access to more information than ever. And this means that young people are able to make informed decisions when it comes to voting even though that perhaps wouldn't have been possible 10 or 15 years ago. Despite all young people playing an enormous role in society, when it comes to voting, it's a postcode lottery for 16 and 17 year olds, with those in Wales and Scotland being able to vote at 16, but in England and Northern Ireland, we're left behind as our voting age is 18. Voting has always been something that's fluid, and it's always been something that's been adapted based on the circumstances we live in. The message I want to spread to the world is don't underestimate your power, no matter how old you are.